In the configuration on the nest settings tab, we've added options for exporting the nest as a step file or an IGES file. We've also added an option here to export the individual parts on that nest as separate step or IGES files. Additionally, in order to differentiate the different layouts across assemblies, you can add the assembly name as a prefix to that nested step or IGES file. You can also configure where these exports go, as well as tell us to create a folder with the assembly name and store those exports in that folder. In order to use this, after you've nested, under the post option, you'll find a new export nest. Here, you can change some of the settings that were there in the configuration, as well as select whether or not you want to export just the active layout, all layouts in your current task, or all layouts across all tasks. We'll just click export. And now, in our exported location, I can see I have a folder with the name of the assembly, and inside that folder, individual step files for each of the parts on that nest, as well as the nested step file itself. So let's take a look at that nested step file. Here we can see that all of the nesting is still intact. I can see that true shape nesting that was done is still here in the nested file. The parts are in the same order they were on the nest. And I could use this step file in another coding software, for example, or for machines that take a nested step or IGES file to program.